Guys, it's Fonzie with DipYourCar.com, world famous peelable auto paints. Now, plastic dipping your wheels has become a very popular thing to do over the past couple years. And although it's very DIY friendly, there's definitely a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. There's definitely things that you want to avoid to make sure you don't have any trouble or challenges. And there's things you want to do to make sure that it goes properly and you get the right performance and the right finish. In this video, we're gonna cover all the things you wanna avoid, all the things you wanna make sure that you nail down properly. We're gonna take you through step by step. Enjoy the video. So first things first, what we wanna cover, which isn't really a do or a don't, it's more of a personal preference, and that's whether or not you remove the wheels from the car. Now, there's a lot of people out there that think it's only logical to remove the wheels from the car before you spray them, and there's nothing wrong with that. I support it. 100%, if it's easy for you to remove the wheels from your car and you have the tools necessary, by all means, remove the wheels from your car. But there's a lot of people out there who don't have the means or the tools to remove the wheels from the car and they're gonna keep the wheels on the car. And that's what we're gonna be demonstrating here today. So either way, no matter how you do it, there's nothing wrong with it. Now, if you're gonna leave the wheels on your car, don't spray directly over the brakes behind the wheels. You have to mask off the wheels. So what you wanna do in the DYC wheel kits, you get a brake masking bag for each wheel. It's a very simple, obvious technique. You're gonna open up the plastic bag. You're gonna thread it through the spokes of the wheel. It only takes a couple minutes. And you're gonna take that bag and you're gonna work it over the brakes and you're gonna completely mask off those brake areas. We don't want any overspray on the rotors, on the calipers for obvious reasons. So, there you go. Took about 45 seconds for this wheel, brakes completely masked off. Next, don't spray Plasti Dip directly onto your tire sidewall. Now, some tires, depending on the lifespan and depending on the condition, will allow the Plasti Dip to be removed nice and easy, but don't take that chance. We wanna protect the tires so that the overspray of the dip comes off the tire, but obviously stays on the wheel. And again, don't mask off your tires using masking tape or other methods that way. It's gonna take way too much time and it's not an efficient way to do it. Here's how you mask off your tires. You take a microfiber towel, and a bottle of dip release. Again, both come in the DYC wheel kit. You put some dip release on the microfiber towel and you apply it to the tire sidewall. This is going to make sure that the dip sticks to the wheels but easily and cleanly comes off of the tire sidewall. So you want to apply it all the way around the sidewall. Make sure you don't miss any spots. And then one thing you really want to do is actually go back a little bit too onto the tread because there's gonna be some overspray that gets back onto the tread and you don't want the Plasti Dip to easily be removed from here, but then get stuck a little bit back there. A lot of Plasti Dipping correctly has to do with masking and prep. It doesn't matter if you're doing wheels or a full car, the better you prep, the better you mask, the better the project's gonna come out and the easier the cleanup is going to be. Next, don't spray Plasti Dip over dirty or wet wheels. First of all, flat out, if your wheels are wet, if there's any moisture on the wheels at all, do not spray them with Plasti Dip. The moisture is going to affect the dip's ability to adhere to the, the surface of the wheel and it's not gonna work very well. Make sure your wheels are 100% bone dry. And again, don't dip over your wheels if there's dirt, debris, brake dust, anything on the wheel surface. What you wanna do is thoroughly clean the surface of the wheel. We're gonna use pre-dip spray. Again, comes in the DYC wheel kits and you're gonna clean, thoroughly clean, the surface of the wheel, inside and outside, all of the spokes, all the way around. Again, take a little bit of extra time to clean the wheels properly and make sure that the time and energy and money that you spend on this project is worth it. One thing to note, make sure that you thoroughly clean the very outside edge of the wheel because obviously if there's any dip release on there, it's going to make the dip not stick to the edge of the wheel. So that should be the last thing that you clean on the wheel before you start to spray. So the wheel's all clean and we're ready to start spraying. Don't just take the Plasti Dip cans and start spraying your wheels. Can you do that? 
Of course, but there's a better way to do it. And that's by simply soaking the Plasti Dip aerosol cans in warm water before you use them. I know it may sound a little bit silly, but this makes a huge difference in how smooth the Plasti Dip lays out and sprays. I got a little paint cup here from the DYC sprayer. I've got my warm water and obviously use common sense here. It shouldn't be hot or boiling water. You should be able to touch the water with your fingers without getting burned and let those cans soak in there for about 10 minutes. Then pull it out, dry it off, shake it up really well, and then you can go and start to spray your wheel. Again, trust me, it makes a huge difference, especially in colder climates, but we do this, we soak all our cans in warm water, even down here in South Florida, before we use them. Now this is an issue I still see from time to time. Don't lay your wheels flat out on the floor and try to spray them with the aerosol cans. Aerosol cans are designed to spray forward. They are not designed to be held horizontally and sprayed down. It will make a huge difference. The can will sputter, it won't lay out properly, and you're gonna get a lot of texture. Every single time, make sure your wheels are straight up and down or at least at a 45 degree angle before you spray them. Never spray wheels laying flat down. Now this one's a little bit of common sense, but still worth talking about. Don't spray Plasti Dip aerosols, or gallons for that matter, without using a respirator. Now it's time to start spraying the wheel. Don't go full, heavy, wet coats right off the bat. Your first coat should always be a tack coat, about 50% coverage. So the first tack coat is dry and now we're going to continue laying the rest of the coats. Now if you want a smooth finish, which everybody does, don't continue spraying light coats. If you're back here misting the product on from a distance, the product is going to land in individual droplets and you're going to build a texture. If you want nice smooth finish all the way around the wheel, now you're going to start laying heavier, wet, overlapping coats. So our second coat is dry, it's looking really nice and smooth, and we're going to keep laying those wet coats until we're completely out of product. This is the Matte Anthracite Gray Wheel Kit from DYC. It comes with four aerosol cans of anthracite gray. We're going to keep laying these wet coats until we have all four aerosol cans worth of product down on our wheels. Now I can't stress this enough, don't shortchange the amount of product that you're going to use on your wheels. Don't stop early just because you have full color coverage and you have product left over. Whatever product comes in the wheel kit from DYC is the correct amount of product that you should have down on your wheels. Don't even bother doing the project if you're not going to use the correct amount of product. Durability and easy peelability is a really big piece of this entire platform. So do it right and use the correct amount of product. Let's keep dropping these wet coats. So we've got all the coats down on the car. Don't try to peel the excess around the tire wall off unless it's completely dry. I like to give it about four hours to completely solidify before we peel it off. And what you're gonna do is obviously just remove it off the sidewall. And if you applied the dip release correctly, if you applied those wet coats around the sidewall correctly, it should really be minimal effort to remove that overspray. Now anything that was left above on the tread, you can just wipe it off with your hand. And again, this goes down to masking and prepping correctly. It saves you a lot of time and makes the project come out great. We're gonna remove our brake masking bag carefully and we're done. So the wheels are dipped, the project is complete, and we're gonna take the car outside in just a second so you can see the finished product. Now if you wanna dip your own wheels, it's super simple. Just click right up here, it'll bring you to all of our DYC wheel kits. There are a ton of colors and finishes to choose from, and each one of the wheel kits not only includes all of the Plasti Dip cans and colors that you need, for the job, but it includes all the accessories that you saw us use today as well. The pre-dip spray, the brake masking bags, the dip release, it's all 
in there. Now, if you need a more thorough step-by-step -step guide on how to dip your wheels, there's a link in the description box below. It takes you to the how to dip your wheels, the complete guide video, which is a little bit more thorough than this video. In this one, we wanted to focus on what you want to avoid and what you want to make sure that you do. But if you want somebody to hold your hand through the process, that is the video for you. If you have any specific questions, email service at dipyourcar.com, call in and speak to a rep, or the fastest way is to chat with us directly on the website. It's Fonzie. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed dipping your wheels. I'll see you on the next one.